you know, I'm not from here, I commute here, and it never ceases to amaze me how barren of a goddamn city this is. <laughs> you know, I, I shouldn't talk, I'm from a really small town, you might have heard of it, um, I'm from Bumblefuck Nowhere. <laughs> No, I, I'm exaggerating. I'm not from Bumblefuck, nowhere. I'm from Bumblefuck, Idaho. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, me and my friend Josh, another comedian, we actually commute here. Last week, it took us a half hour to get from Coeur d'Alene to Post Falls, and then 20 minutes to get from Post Falls to Spokane. There's, there's an accident on the road. Um, you know, we were moving about five miles an hour, and when we finally got to the wreckage, we were just stopped there, and I asked the cop, like, why did it take so long? He's like, Oh, we would have gotten it cleaned up faster, but we had to go on a donut run. The blood reminded us of jelly donuts. <laughs> Sorry. I just thought of that. <laughs> no, you know, it's weird. Growing up in uh, North Idaho, I knew three, three black people my whole life, and I've seen about maybe 30, 40 other ones. I'm not sure on that number, you know. They're mostly in my privs. They could have been a white man's shadow. I'm not <laughs> But you know, uh, I, I'm not racist, I don't hate black people, the only reason I'd hate someone is because they're a douche, not because of the color of their skin, but you know, in this PC world we live in right now, it's hard for a white guy with no experience to interact with them, uh, especially when the most experience you have interacting with a black person is uh, your cat, Blackie. So, yeah, they don't like that, like, what's up, Blackie, how you doing? Darkness. <laughs> yeah, that's not good, so. And you know, insult to injury, my cat Blackie, he's not even fully black, he's actually like one of those black and white cats. Uh, he actually uh, looks like he's in a tuxedo, so th there's a big difference between him and black guys. <laughs> okay, let me see here. I think Christians should be pro-abortion. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Woo! Okay. You wanna know why? Please. <laughs> you got the one Christian right there. Tell me. This is why. When you, you abort a baby, that baby goes straight to heaven. He lives in heaven. His dad would be God. God would raise him instead of, you know, some 22-year-old burger-flipping, dope-smoking wankster named C-Train. <laughs> Your name's Christopher, okay? You know, 22-year-old dad, 16-year-old mom who's just waiting for Hooters to hire her. <laughs> so, you know, they would, they'd be raised by God and all your dead relatives, assuming they were good people and got into heaven. You know, Christians, they always say God works in mysterious ways. The only other time I've ever heard that phrase used is when cops are describing serial killers and rapists. <laughs> Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Wiener Slave. <laughs> we finally caught your son's killer. He's like, oh my god! He's like, I'm sorry that it's too late. Your son was murdered and sodomized. He's like, what? How, how come you didn't catch him sooner? Well, I mean, this guy, he just works in mysterious ways. He, who would have suspected the bus driver? He's like, oh no, Timmy Wieners, what do I saw? He's like, if it's any condolences. God works in mysterious ways. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm pretty terrible at talking with women. Um, I, I either say something awkward that ruins the moment, or I, I make a joke that just doesn't go over well. I'll give, you, I'll give you a couple examples. This one time, I was talking to this girl at a party, and, um, you know, the tank was full, so I went to the bathroom. And I go to the bathroom, and, you know, I, I do my business, um, and then I go wash my hands, and I, I go to dispense soap on my hands, and I'm washing them, there's no soap there, I don't think anything of it. So then I walk back out, and I start talking to this girl again, and she looks down at my crotch. And I see her do this, and I look down at my crotch. And there's a big blob of soap right there. <laughs> and I look up and I meet her eyes and I just say the first thing that pops into my head. I was like, uh, the next one's got your face all over it. <laughs> she, she did not like that one bit. Um, yeah, she actually, she, she walked away. She's like, you pervert motherfucker. I'm like, I'm like, whoa, 
explain that you need to really wash your mouth out with soap. Is that it? Okay, I, I got one more. Axe just came out with a body spray line for women. And uh, I, I came up with a great campaign slogan for it. Uh, the best way to avoid douches trying to get in your pants is to smell like you just fucked one. <laughs> Thanks, guys.